here is the question number 1.332 from Eurodo from hydrodynamics of fluid mechanics in this question it is given that a long cylinder of radius r1 is displaced along its axis with a constant velocity v0 inside a stationary coaxial cylinder of radius r2 the stress between the cylinders are filled with the viscous liquid find the viscosity of the liquid as a function of the distance r from the axis of the cylinders the flow is laminar here in this in this two figure the the required diagram is drawn these are the side view and top view of the cylinders from this diagram the viscous force viscous force on the differential element of liquid of radius r viscous force viscous force on this is the differential element on the differential differential element of radius of radius r thickness dr thickness dr and length l and length l is given by df is equal to is given by df df for the small segment so df equal to eta into area area cross section of the cylinder equal to 2 pi r l so it's become eta into 2 pi r l into velocity gradient it means dv with respect to dr where 2 pi r l is a curved cross sectional area in laminar flow now as the flow is laminar so df with respect to d da df with respect to dx will be constant and df with respect to dx or dr is equal to constant now from the given condition eta into 2 pi r l into dv with respect to dr is equal to constant which is equal to c now if we cross multiply this then we will get 2 eta pi r l dv will be equal to c into dr now if we integrate to both side then it becomes 2 eta pi r l integration of dv is equal to c integration of dr now if we calculate this integral then it it will become 2 eta pi l pi r l v l v will be equal to c l n c l n there will be one r c l n r plus c1 from this equation c equal to 2 eta pi r l v divided by log 
R2 divided by or R1 divided by R2 now as it is given that 2 eta pi LV is equal to C ln R plus C1 now using the boundary condition using boundary condition boundary condition it gives us when r equal to when r equal to r1 then v becomes v0 if you substitute this value in into our equation number 2 then it becomes 2 pi 2 eta pi l v0 will be equal to c ln r1 plus if r equal to r1 r1 plus c1 let this is our equation number 2 and this was the equation number 1 and also it is given that when r equal to r2 then v equal to 0 so our value of c1 will become minus c ln r2 let this is our equation number 3 now from this conditions or from this equation we can find c is equal to 2 eta pi l v0 divided by ln r1 divided by r2 and c1 equal to minus 2 eta pi L V naught divided by ln R1 divided by R2 into ln R2. So putting this value in equation number 1, putting putting this value. values in equation 1 will get v will be equal to v naught divided by ln r1 divided by r2 into ln small r divided by r2 so this is our required expression for finding the velocity here this because it is female.